How's it going, Chasers? I hope you're having a kick-ass week. Uh, breaking news, George from Barley and Hops is back. Kinda. Uh, let's explore that in just a second, but first, a wee bit of history here to kind of give context for this, just in case you haven't kind of had the whole story here or you, or you don't know what's going on. So, way back in time, and it kind of pains me to say that, it's weird to say that, but it's true. <laughs> it was a long time ago now. When I was first thinking about making a YouTube channel, I didn't know what I wanted the subject of the channel to be about. I just knew that I wanted a YouTube channel. I thought about home brewing, but there's a bunch of really cool people doing really cool stuff. I didn't quite see where my place would be in that. Um, and then I somehow got this idea that distilling could be kind of fun. So I jumped on YouTube, did a little bit of research, and there was a few kind of uh, semi-obscure channels, obscure in the fact that it was hard to find them. Like, you, just typing in a few keywords didn't seem to pop them up. Uh, and then when you finally got to them, they were kind of good, but they were based out of Europe, I think, uh, somewhere in Europe and somewhere in, was it Russia? I don't know. I can't even remember the names of the channels now. But they were no longer creating content. There was one guy, one guy who was making regular content and actually been quite successful at, at it, and that was George from Bali and Hops. He was, well he is, the, the godfather of distilling YouTube. He kind of started this all off. Uh, it was me seeing his success and seeing that, how do I put it? It was, it was kind of more demand for what George was doing than what George could actually produce, which made, which gave me the confidence to think that maybe there was a place for me in distilling YouTube. So hats off, George, man. Like, I will be eternally grateful for you kicking this all off. Uh, and I, I thought I understood how hard it would have been for you to do that back then, and now I'm more understanding um, how cool it was that you just did it, right? So hats off to you, man. That's awesome. Uh, I thoroughly freaking appreciate what you did. Uh, but... Here's the deal, guys. About two years ago, uh, after I'd actually started to build up a little bit more of a relationship with George, I got to hang out with him and been conversing by email a little bit and so on and so forth, the guy just kind of vanished off the face of the YouTube globe. And uh, no one really knew what happened. We didn't have any solid news. Of course, there was rumors. There's a video of me addressing that if you want a little bit more context down in the description. Um, there was talk of him passing away. There was talk of him uh, being arrested. There was talk of him not being arrested but being forced to not make more videos. There was, there was all sorts of stuff. Obviously, it was all bollocks because apparently he just kind of wanted to chill for a little bit. Uh, and now, uh, now, he's back. Kind of. <laughs> he's resurfaced. Uh, he's kind of made a statement on this. Uh, and you don't have to trust me. It's not a rumor mill thing. Uh, go and hear it from George's own lips. There's a link down there to a video that Better Than Boards just put out with a little short clip at the end of the video uh, talking with George. George is in his video talking about how he is making steps towards coming back. And that's why I'm saying kinda. So he's resurfaced, he's talking to the community again, which is absolutely awesome. He's not I, I, I wouldn't say he's actually back yet because he hasn't got a new video out at the time of me recording this. Like, I decided I was going to make this video 25 minutes ago and here I am recording it. <laughs> Sorry for the rambling, I haven't thought about this a whole lot. So, I, I just wanted to put it out there because I, I get that the way the distill distilling community is and kind of has to be, you know, sometimes there's, uh, it, it can be a little rumory. So, I just wanted to make this video to say, yes, it's a thing, go and see, Bearded's video so you actually know what's actually happening. Uh, and the real reason I wanted to make this video is uh, I, wanted, I wanted to come out and say awesome George and like straight up support you to say yes, do it, come back, uh, do it at a frequency that is sustainable for you. But I also wanted to give like a little platform for what it's worth for you guys that are watching this uh, to jump in the comments down below uh, and let George know that you actually care and you want, want to see him come back. Obviously go and do the same thing over on Bearded's video if you want to do that and you want to um, get it kind of from the horse's mouth. Uh, obviously jump over onto George's channel and leave comments the same down there. But what I really want you to do down there in the comments on my platform, whether, whether or not George wants to hear this, I don't know. I hope this will be inspiring to you, George. <laughs> Once again, sorry man, if I'm, <laughs> if I'm screwing with things that don't need to be screwed with. I want to know what you guys want George to do in the future. And... 
Uh, let, me, let me go first. So, I think that because George was the first on the platform, and because that was one of the first sort of like open, easily accessible sources of information for distilling, George kind of got stuck in, not, not in a rut, but he kind of almost got pigeonholed a little bit by his fandom into the kind of 101, um, having to explain things always down, always down to the base level because there was nowhere else to go for information and because the audience was new to it, right? Uh, and talking personally with George, I know that I know that his knowledge and capability is way freaking beyond that, and way, way beyond what often shines through in some of his older videos. So I want to see you have at it, man. I want to see you still, of course, support the newbies, like bring people into the hobby, of course. But like maybe I don't know, like one in four videos. Tell those guys to just chill. Wait for the next video. Go and. Watch the giant, uh, giant catalog that you've got built up already uh, and just go all out and just assume that people know exactly what they're doing uh, and do something that kind of pushes us or pushes you or uh, builds on four or five different complex ideas. And don't, you, know, you don't need to waste time going all the way back down to the beginner level. Just every now and again, man. I, I, I would really appreciate to, to see some videos like that from you. Uh, and maybe that's specific recipes that you just like making or you're excited about making. I don't know. Uh, I'm just happy to see you back, man, and I hope it happens. So there you have it, team. Uh, quick video, just to say my piece on this and say that I'm excited about it and uh, hope to see Bali and Hops videos up and running again shortly. See you guys.